I recently received an email from one of the subscriber here. It reads, Hi Shirley, I recently watched a Korean drama, Our Beloved Summer. In the drama, it showed that Juju B T is good for sleep. Is it true? Can I drink it for sleep? Can I drink it every night? Hi everyone, if you are new here, my name is Shirley. I'm a Chinese medicine practitioner and a pharmacist in Australia. In this channel, I usually focus on teaching you how to use Chinese herbs at home effectively and most importantly, safely. So after I received the email, I was quite curious. So I did a quick search on Techo Cha, I hope I pronounced it correctly, which is the Korean name of um, Jujube tea. Oh my, I'm so slow in China. I have no idea how this um, K-drama make Jujube tea um, become so popular. I should have made this video like half a year early so to catch the trend. Nonetheless, jujube, which is red date, it's a very important Chinese herb. While some YouTuber or TikToker promoting the um, jujube tea, especially after the show, it seems like everyone has their own version of recipes. Please be aware that jujube or jujube tea is not necessary good for all people with sleep issues. There are certain types of people who shouldn't drink it daily as some of the content creator claim. And stay with me, I will um, explain a bit more a bit later in the video. Today in this video, I'm going to dismystify the jujube tea based on Chinese herbal medicine principles. I will tell you which recipe may suit you and I will also tell you which other jujube tea recipe online might not be suitable for sleep. That might be good for other health reasons but they might not be the best for sleep. Although traditional Korean medicine has been influenced by traditional Chinese medicine. Traditional Korean medicine also developed their own very distinctive feature. So I'm not a Korean, I haven't lived in Korea before. So what I'm going to share here is merely based on my understanding of traditional Chinese medicine principle. So if you are familiar with TKM, traditional Korean medicine, and if I make any mistake here, I would love to hear experience and would love to exchange with you more. Jujube can help with sleep is through the shen coming function, which is like coming our mind, coming our spirit. It itself is not sedative. It doesn't make you want to sleep, okay? So don't worry about like being a pharmacist, we always have to tell whether it will cause drowsiness or dizziness. So this one doesn't. It will be suitable for people who are generally feeling tired easily, feel cold easily, or your facial color is pale or colorless, and you generally feel weak. At the same time, you might have some sleeping issues. Then jujube is suitable for you. On the opposite spectrum, jujube is not suitable for people who tends to have um, very reddish facial, facial color or they feel hot easily or, or they um, get very irritated by the heat or they generally feel very easily get anger or the person have a very hot temper and they probably very prone to heat sign which I have explained before. I'm going to explain a bit more later but today I'm going to show you three ways to make jujube tea for sleep for three different types of people. Number one is jujube alone or with honey. Number two is jujube with pear. Number three is jujube with longan fruit or the goji berry. Okay, let's start cooking. So the whole idea to um, get rid of the seed, to reduce the warmth. So if you are usually someone who's slightly more prone to heat sign, then it's better that you reduce the warmth. You might find that it, then the jujube is not that warming for you. And of course, if you are someone who feel cold easily, have a pale face, then you can leave the seat on. I am someone who quite prone to um, heat, so sometimes I prefer to get rid of the seat. Yeah, quite good. Hmm. There are different types of jujube, some of them are harder or drier, some of them are still reasonably fresh. This one is quite fresh and it's sweet. One of them that I've seen a lot on YouTube is the jujube plus ginger. And I also have taught this tea in my previous video uh, for the ginger tea, I add jujube in there. So this one is great for general health because you need the ginger to warm and then you have the jujube to nourish the chi and the blood and also warming. So it's especially great during winter time or cold weather. And it's also ideal to take it in the morning because um, we say the ginger has the kind of rising your yang sensation. So it means that after you take it, you feel the warm kind of coming up. So it's great to take it in the morning, but those tea might not be the best to take it at night. Especially some of the recipe that I've seen online, the Korean YouTuber that also adds cinnamon, which is great because it's add another layer of flavor. However, I think 
by these three ingredients adding it together will be too warming especially those people who can't fall asleep until very late past 11 or 12 o'clock by that time if you can't sleep well and then you add a lot of warm ingredient you probably feel warmer so probably it actually will disturb your sleep more than helping you that's one uh, jujube tea recipe i don't recommend um, to take it at night time for sleep of course some people will respond differently they do find it is calming especially they want the warm to help them to go to sleep i mean if it's worked for you that's fine but after you tried it and you find that it doesn't work then you know it probably is too warm for you and the other type is the jujube with ginseng so ginseng as we all know it's a powerful chi tonic to help to boost our chi so by the time you add the ginseng and the jujube and jujube is a chi and blood tonic so it's great for general health as well to boost our chi and our blood However, some people will find that this combination, especially with the ginseng, is too stimulating. So if you take it at night, yeah, you probably get more productive. <laughs> so for that ginseng and jujube tea, it's best to take it in the morning to boost your immunity, to boost your chi, to help you to feel less tired, but probably is not the best for nighttime for sleep, okay? You might ask if you've seen some of my video before previously that I also talk about another tea for sleep which is the green planules. That one is especially great for people who are very prone to heat signs who also has sleep issues. So it's the opposite spectrum of this. So now we have 10 here. This one is to go with the goji berries and the longan fruit. So here we got 20 red dates or jujube here. Already removed the seed and cut it in the smaller pieces. Half of it will go with the pear and then the other half will be just the plain um, jujube and plus some honey, okay? So just now I say there are 20 jujube here. So I'm going to take half away. So this half will go with pear. And the other half, I'm going to put in the blender. And before I put it in the blender, while they are fresh, I find that they are quite soft already. I've got a very good quality one, but I still like to soak in hot water for about 10 to 15 minutes or so and let, let it soak up the water. So when you go to the blender, it will be easier. So this is the first recipe, which is the jujube alone. And you can also mix it with some honey. So now the water is already fully boiled. I'm going to let it soak for 10 to 15 minutes to make sure it's properly softened, absorb all the water. So we go to the blender, it will be much better. It smells so good and the water don't throw away because when you do the blending, then you can add a little bit of water to make sure it goes smooth. After you've done this, it will become like a paste. Then you can put it in the fridge and then only take it out when you need it. So this recipe is great just for general people. They probably don't have a lot of heat sign, not have a lot of cold sign either. So as you can see, the consistency is about right. I like it this way. You can do it thicker or more chunky. It's up to you, okay? So this is what it looks like. So I didn't buy any fancy jar. This is just a jar that I use. And then I clean it up. Make sure you sterilize it. And then you can put the paste in. Okay, so now you have a jar of jujube paste. So I've seen some Korean YouTuber, they add a lot of sugar, uh, almost could also be like a preservative and then probably can last longer. But I personally find that it's just way too much sugar for me. I don't like it. The other one that you could add, of course, is the honey. You can mix it together and then you can put this jar of jujube paste in your fridge and then at night time, a couple of hours before your bedtime, you can get like one or two spoon, mix it with hot water and then um, hopefully it will help you to sleep a bit better. So this one had to go to the stove. We need to cook it for about an hour or so. So this one is not as convenient as these. This you can pre-prepare it. If you do a lot of baking, so sometimes people like to use this to either replace sugar or um, just add this into your muffins and stuff. It gives a very, very nice flavor. And I'm going to bring it to boil. And then after that, I'm going to add the ingredients. Okay, it is boiling now. And then that's when you can throw in your jujube as well as your pear. I like to let the lid a bit ajar so when it boils, 
and I have too much heat it won't spill but I'll turn down the heat I'm gonna let it cook for about one hour or so until the water more concentrated okay okay so now let's give it a try I'm just going to try a little bit first because I'm going to show you um, what other things that you could do to make it better I really like how the um, pear give an additional soothing flavor to it it's a great combination and I forgot to mention about the pear actually um, you can also use a Korean pear um, in fact the Korean pear is a bit sweeter the sweetness is a bit more intense the Asian pear less so I would only recommend these two types of pear for the purpose of soothing and also for the purpose of relieving the thirst and soothing your throat I do find that the other type of pear that we find in the Western groceries, they somehow they don't have that that functions on your throat. You still feel good, but it's different. You can give it a try. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I learned from um, other Koreans um, YouTuber, which I really like the idea. So what they do, they will take out all the um, ingredient. I will first take out the pear. Once you take out all the pear, take all the jujube and put it in here and then they will mash the jujube and then put it back in and boil it back up and I find that this method actually um, enhances the flavour of jujube and then you are not wasting it you are eating the whole jujube, okay? Okay, now with the spoon, you just press down the jujube Most of these are, are skin now, but the flesh has already gone back to the um, fluid. So now let's bring it back up to boil. Okay, it's boiling again, so let me turn it off now. It's getting dark outside, it's going to rain. Perfect day for drinking jujube. So as you can see, one is clear, much clearer. One with the jujube flesh mush back into the um, fluid. Um, the flavor of the jujube is more intense, but it doesn't overpowering or overwhelming the pear flavor. Mm, I really like this way too. If you are someone who like just have a clean taste, so this will be good without the extra effort to mush the, the flesh of the jujube back into the fluid. But I find that this flavor is very, very good too. Okay, now let's make the third type of jujube tea, which is the jujube, the red dates, with the longan and with the goji berry. The jujube is warming and longan is warming too. And both of them has the uh, shen calming or the spirit calming function. That's why we use them together, but they can be quite warming. And then you add a bit of um, goji. So this is more like a Chinese style of jujube tea that we make often at home. So let's start now. I'm going to turn up the heat. This is one and a half liters of water. So wait till it boil and then I'll put all these ingredients in. All these ingredients already been quickly rinsed and then we just leave it on for 20 minutes or so on high heat. Okay, the water is boiling now. I put 10 jujube. About 15, 20 minutes have passed. So now let's have a look. So now I'm going to leave it on low heat for about 40 minutes or so. So this tea is the jujube plus longan plus goji berry. So as you can see, the color is a lot darker because of the longan in there. And this is the one that I made with the pear and the um, jujube. There's some deposit. Um, at the bottom because remember we um, mash out the flesh of the jujube to give it a more intense taste and this one is the jujube paste just the paste I didn't add any honey okay let's do a tasting for these three and I will also explain what the difference between them and then you can choose which one suits you better so let's start with the plain jujube Okay, based on the blending, I don't like to be too pasty. I like to be able to see the chunks in there. Because it's only a jujube, you can add some honey if you like it a bit sweeter. And honey also have a soothing um, function, so we'll add to the um, sleep 
purpose because they are just jujube so jujube is like a fruit for uh it's a date it's a fruit so usually most people should feel okay if it's just one small cup unless there are certain type of people who are very prone to warming property fruits or food after they take it a couple of days if they start to have sore throat or mouth ulcers or feeling a bit too warm or skin breakout or stool become very smelly or dark color maybe it's too warming for you if that's the case then you can switch to this one this one is the combination of red date and the pear so with this combination although the red date is a bit warming but the pear is cooling so with this combination i would say should suitable for most people and all people who are a bit more prone to heat sign let me taste it first with the pear in that it gives a different flavor or a different layer of flavor and make the um, tea not as intense to the jujube and you can feel the cooling quite immediately already also best for people when they wake up in the morning if they have like very dry throat or the walls can't really open or um, feeling very thirsty in the morning i think this will be a good combo but because the pet also can relieve the thirst can relieve dry mouth so it's good for people who have that kind of symptom okay now let's try the third one so the third one is a combination of jujube with the longan fruits and with the goji berry obviously this one the taste a bit more intense but i didn't mash up the flesh because usually the chinese herbal tea uh, method we don't normally uh, mash the um, jujube flesh don't forget i did not remove the pits from the jujube because i intentionally make this for people who feel cold very easily so this recipe is actually warmer than this for people who are feeling cold very easily very tired very pale face or colorless face and especially during winter time this would be a good tea because there are two warming chinese herbs in there the jujube and the longan they both are warming the other thing i want to remind you is um all these three ingredients especially the longan the longan they are quite sweet so if you are diabetic or if your sugar level is not very properly controlled then you have to be careful with this recipe that's the difference between these three tea i hope you learn something today and know by understanding how your body responds to the herbs then you will choose the best recipe remember tcm it's all about personalization what you see online what you watch youtube video people tell you this and this might be good for a certain group of people but not necessarily it's good for you the most important thing is to learn the basic properties of chinese herbs and then understanding how your body responds to it so you can somehow pick and choose or create simple recipe that suits you the best i mean that's my youtube channel is about and that's what i'm teaching in my online course and that's how i support my members in my membership as well so i'll see you in the next video oh don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you like the video i really appreciate that it will tell the algorithm that you actually like the video and it will share it with more other people okay i'll see you in the next video bye